poverty, social backwardness and the daily struggle for survival have kept millions without basic education. India, famous for its snow-capped Himalayas and the Taj Mahal, also has the world's largest number of non-literates, over 300 million. This realization led to the creation of the National Literacy Mission in 1988. Backed by a national commitment, the mission was entrusted with the enormous job of making 100 million persons in the age group of 15 to 35 literate by the turn of the century. The fixing of target group, time frame and goal lent a sense of urgency to the mission. There was a need to channelize the energies of the people for a qualitative change in their lives. Hence a mass campaign approach or a people's movement was conceived where the community was the active participant in implementing the literacy programs. Decentralization of literacy planning and unique styles were adopted to attract the villagers. Group marchers made their way through villages regaling and inspiring the crowds that thronged to them. Publicity drives were launched with radio and television being used to convey the literacy message. Cultural troops, popularly known as Kala Jathas, singing and talking local dialects were an instantaneous hit as the literacy message was conveyed through folklores and mythological depictions. Within a year of launching the National Literacy Mission Initiative, Ernakulam district in the coastal state of Kerala was declared as the first fully literate district. The Ernakulam experience demonstrated the successful partnership between the government administration, elected representatives and volunteers who guided the movement. The success of Ernakulam quickly spread to other parts of the country Priorities were set and vulnerable groups identified. The Hindi-speaking states required special attention because of the high prevalence of illiteracy. Efforts were directed at empowering women as the neglect of girls' education adversely affected social development. There was a special focus on bringing the weaker sections under the umbrella of literacy. Non-formal education of children in the age group 6 to 14 was stepped up to arrest illiteracy in the future. Innovative campaigns were drawn up, for instance, when it was found that fishermen in West Bengal stayed away in the seas for months together. Literacy volunteers accompanied them in the trawlers and introduced them to books. Again, Literacy activists followed the nomadic tribe of Gujars in the Himalayan ranges as they roamed from one place to another with their cattle. Literacy was taken to the jails in Himachal Pradesh and prisoners were motivated to learn the three R's. Madhya Pradesh laborers who could not leave their work sites because of the compulsions of earning now have literacy volunteers sitting with them in the break helping them read and count and the impact is felt all around a significant change is the enthusiasm and demand for primary education for children reflected in the increase in enrollment of girls and longer retention in school thus braving problems of inaccessible areas and diffident people the total literacy campaign today is being run in 425 districts These are the new, aware, confident people responding to the challenges of life. They are keen participants in village politics, actively involved in improving living conditions and taking decisions in the community. The increasing participation of women in the panchayat level politics is one indicator of the change brought about by literacy. But then there was another major challenge. How does one sustain the positive impact of literacy? The answer was the launching of post-literacy campaigns in over 175 districts. 
easy to read newspapers and books are being made available through reading rooms so that the fragile literacy achievements of the new literates can be stabilized. The idea is to make learning a self-reliant and continuing process. Learning is a challenge and challenge can be fun also.